Welcome back, everybody. We're cooking with beer on today's show in the kitchen with Angie Horkin from the Wisconsin Beef Council. And uh, you cook with beer a lot, too, I understand. I do. We have a lot of great beef recipes that incorporate beer in them. A it lot adds, of great chili recipes. Yeah, it's, just kind of adds that, you know, uh, extra, extra something mm -hmm. special. There's so many different beers out there that you can, can, you know, create, have fun with different flavors. Also makes it tender and um, especially works well with a, a nice, um, you know, like a pot roast right. type of braising cut of meat. cooking yes. method, like yes. what we're doing today. Right. It's fall, we like braising, yes. we're cooking that liquid. Low Com and slow. Um, ultimate comfort food. I agree, I agree. So, so we started out, we got a nice big chuck roast here, right? Yeah, that's about a three pound chuck roast. Okay, season it with salt and pepper, and this is our blend, which is a cup of kosher salt to one tablespoon of coarsely ground black pepper. Leave that along the side of your stove, and you've got the just, it's just easy, you know, to just pick mm -hmm. it up and, and season. Meat, some chicken, pork, whatever. A little olive oil in the skillet or a big pan or a lot of olive oil. We love our Dijora <laughs> olive oil, so it's all good. And then pop him in and we're going to sear him for just a couple minutes on each side. So, nice hot pan. So, whenever you're braising, take that extra five minutes to sear up your pot roast or even your stew meat or your brisket or whatever you're braising. It really helps seal that flavor in because that sear is creating that nice crust on the outside. So you're searing the flavor in and the juiciness. And you know, you need to have the pan waiting for you. When we put that in, immediately it sizzled. If your pan doesn't do that, get that roast out of right. there, let it come to temperature, and then put it back in. Um, yeah, even when you're slow cooking, if you can just take that extra, you know, five minutes to brown it, you don't have to, but it, it does make a difference in the flavor. Yes, so what does. do you got going over here? So then I have some chipotle peppers and adobo sauce, and this is what's going to add our spice. Mm. So this recipe calls for two of the peppers. So I just dump my can out so I can get at the peppers and then at the sauce. The so sauce is all, like, it's just delicious. If you haven't cooked with it before, real inexpensive. You find these cans in kind of that world international Mexican section yes. of the grocery store, um, and they are fantastic. Um, you know, they are spicy, but they also are smoky. So if you really mm -hmm. wanted to pick it up, you could add more. But this, I, I can tell it's not going to be too spicy. we got a lot of meat going on here. No, so. we're going to have a lot of it. Let me flip this over. I know it's going to have some nice color. I'm going to use a fork, actually. It's, it's a big roast. It's a big roast. There you go. I think this is going to be the better tool for the job. There we go. Ooh, that that, see that color? All right. Yum, so yum, we'll yum. sear up that second side, and then we're going to add one bottle of beer. Okay. She used the I same kind as me. What I had uh, in the refrigerator. Yeah. There we go. But again, a lighter beer. We don't want a real dark beer for this recipe because that, yeah. you know, sometimes can take over the flavor. I do like to like to do a Guinness pot roast and things like that, but they, we, they can be stronger. We have, yeah. we have a Guinness recipe with a brisket mm. for um, St. Patty's Day. Ooh, so that nice Irish good. flavor and we that use the Guinness. Mm. So I'm going to put the two chipotle peppers in that I chopped okay. with the beer and then a little bit of the sauce. Just going to pull off some of the sauce without the pepper for a little bit yeah. more flavor. Now we're going to turn this down yep. since it's boiling and we're going to simmer it. So okay. a nice slow bubble. You don't want to boil your pot roast for two and a half hours. It will not tenderize. You okay. want that low simmer, that braise, tight fitting lid, cover it two and a half hours. When that is done, whoop, and this has all of a sudden got on the hot burner so we started to get real hot. Your pot here. roast should be nice and tender. Yep. Oop, I don't want to use those tongs. This one, that one's just got pepper on it. So this, and the sauce, oh my gosh, Ange. The yeah. sauce really kind of takes over the color of, look at this, it's going to fall apart on me, which is a it's really tender. good thing. Yeah. Um, and if it's not, it's not done yet. So in your, nothing worse than a pot roast that's not ready. What we say, what we say on our website is very scientific way to know if your pot roast is done is if it's fork tender. <laughs> so if you can insert a fork and it comes out with little resistance, that means it's tender. It's mm -hmm. very scientific. <laughs> <laughs> but if it falls but, apart on you, you know it's perfect. Yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh, this look is, at that. I don't even need a sharp knife. So mm. you could shred it with two forks, or I'm just going to slice her up because this is going to be our base for our spicy tacos. Mm. So then we have two cups of just cold slaw mix right there. I yep. purchased at the supermarket okay. right in the deli. And this looks like it's uh, broccoli slaw, which is even yeah. healthier. So very cool. And then uh, we're going to add some more of the chipotle. So some more of the sauce with little bits of pepper in it. Okay. And that's just going to spice up our cold slaw. And that's going to be a nice, cold, crunchy, spicy topping for this nice hot yummy I like the idea of that. Pot roast, beer braised pot roast. Instead of just wimpy lettuce, this is going to kind of stand up to this. 
And it's good for you too. Mm -hmm. And that nice fresh crunch of that slaw is just tastes delicious. Anything else the, in the slaw or just that? That is it. So now we just got some corn tortillas. Oops. So we'll make a couple tacos. I'll put some brisket, or I'm gonna call it brisket. It looks like brisket, but it's a nice it pot sure roast. Here does look good. You okay. Can just top with some slaw. You're using some corn tortillas. I use corn. I bought the small corns. But you could use flour too. Definitely. Some people love flour. Any kind of tortillas. And if you put it in a tortilla, all of a sudden it just makes it more fun, I think, too. My this would be a nice yeah. recipe. You can make your pot roast ahead, of course, and um, serve it for a packer party. Because then just reheat it, shred it, put it back in the liquid, and let it sit on low. Mm. And you can pull that right out and make your tacos. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's do some slaw. And then um, I've got some sour cream, fresh cilantro, so, a lime if you'd like to oh slice yeah, that up. Oh yeah, I like the up. idea of doing a little bit of lime too with the beef. To, that's just kind of a nice little touch. I'm making a big mess here, aren't I? Yeah, yeah that's okay. <laughs> Put a little bit of sour cream on each. Yeah, I never met... Slice the lime. Yeah, I don't think I ever met Mexican food that didn't like a little flour and cream. And some red onion if you'd like or whatever your favorite taco toppings. So it doesn't need a lot. Just a little bit of extra flavor, a little cilantro. This looks fantastic. I like to do the lime wedges so that people can kind of, you know, put them on themselves. Um, and wow. Okay, for people who want this recipe, you can get it on our website, fox11online.com. Mm -hmm. Click on the Living tab and Recipes, and it'll be right there. Or for people who don't have a computer, um, Ange can help you out with that. You'll actually send them out free to people. How does that work? Yeah, 1-800-728-1800. Um, 2333, that's our 800 number. It's an automated answering machine. Just leave your name and your complete mailing address and we'll send you the recipes free. Tell them you saw the recipes. It's the, the taco and the chili recipe that you yes. saw on Living with Amy and then they'll send them right out to you. Uh, speaking of the chili recipe, tell me about that. Oh, it's good. It's smoky chipotle chili and we're going to use some more of the chipotle peppers and adobo sauce mm -hmm. to give it a really nice smoky Mexican flavor. And beer in there too? There's beer in there too. All right. Can hardly wait.